Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be covering five plugins that I think you should be using in your Jira environment. As you know, you can expand the power and effectivity of Jira by introducing new plugins into your environment. Some are free, some are paid, but nonetheless, these plugins are going to drastically improve how your developers and team utilize and interact with Jira that I recommend because I use these on a day-to-day -day basis. If you find value in this video, please make sure you drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I cover in this video, let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into technically Jira, but mainly the Atlassian marketplace. I'm gonna recommend custom charts for Jira. Obviously I'm sponsored by them, so whenever I can uh, and recommend their product, I'm going to take an opportunity to recommend it because honestly, other than EasyBI, because EasyBI is technically the number one product, but you essentially need a PhD to use EasyBI. So if you're looking for a good metrics tool to create graphics and just overall metrics for your organization, Custom Charts is going to be your next bet because literally anyone can use Custom Charts. But at the very least, I urge you to get or look and investigate into a metrics or reporting plugin because reporting in Jira out of the box sucks. <laughs> it's like the worst. And so you can't get a whole lot of insight out of just like the dashboards and the simple gadgets that come with Jira out of the box. So I highly recommend you take a look at something like custom charts here for Jira because it's going to really, really empower the dashboards that you can create and the amount of insight that you get out of your data in Jira is drastically going to go up. So I highly recommend you check custom charts for Jira here because this is just going to completely change your game and how you report and how your executive team sees all the great and hard work that your teams are working on day in and day out. The next one, I've already kind of covered this in a previous video, but plugin number two is GitHub for Jira. If you are developing software and you have no visibility or no connection integration between your GitHub or your source code, and your and Jira tickets, you're missing out on a lot. So it maybe you're not using GitHub, so replace this with GitLab or Bitbucket or whatever other source code repository you're using. There are different plugins out there that will let you essentially connect. But the key takeaway here is you should be integrating your source code with your Jira so that you can have end-to-end -end visibility as to what the heck is going on with your code and how it all relates back to the bigger picture. So highly recommend that you utilize GitHub for Jira. Now make sure you get this GitHub for Jira if you're in GitHub, which a lot of people are, because this is the free one. This is 100% free. As you can see, there's 102,000 installs of this. There are other GitHub for Jira out there in the marketplace, but they're not free. They're like on a subscription. So make sure you get this completely free one made by Atlassian. Plugin number three is going to be a testing plugin. So I have uh, two different plugins. I have X-Ray and I have Zephyr Scale, so we're gonna cover both of these together so you get a two for one special. Most of the teams that I work with use X-Ray. I like X-Ray. Their documentation is spot on. It's really great. It allows you to basically manage all your tests. It's all built into the Jira interface. You have a ton of great reporting that you can do within the X-Ray. It's got a REST API that connects to your CI tool. And so it's very, very powerful. You got some good reports. You got requirements coverage. But even for me, who I'm just a, a solo person here in my environment, I have to pay $10 a month just to be able to use it. So if you're an organization, you're probably going to be able to afford it. This is one of the more popular ones made by x -Blend. Just know that there's no completely free. Although you can try it out for 30 days, there's just no free version. So because of that, I'm going to start actually using Zephyr Scale. So I've worked with teams that also use Zephyr Scale. It's made by Smart Bear, a pretty reputable company. And you're going to get a very similar environment, similar interface. You get cross-project test management. You get 360-degree traceability and cross-functional reporting. And so you're going to get end-to-end -end testing. And what I really like about this one, it's driven for BDD, right? For behavior-driven development or test-driven development. So it's really, really powerful if you're coming in from that perspective. It also has REST APIs. It integrates with Jenkins and Bamboo. And so there's a lot of good things happening here, but what I like the most, and the reason I'm going to be basically putting my chips in this bucket, is because it's completely free for 
users of one through 10, which again, I fall under that environment. So I'm going to be able to do a deeper dive in here with these videos without necessarily having to pay extra. So regardless of whether you go with X-Ray or Zephyr, you should really, really be considering having some sort of a requirements or, and testing traceability system because just developing code is not enough, right? So just creating features is not enough. If you just rely on that and you just rely on your peer review process to essentially check for code quality, you're going to be missing a lot of different things and a lot of stuff's going to fall through the cracks. So using one of these uh, test management uh, systems for Jira, they're going to drastically improve the quality of your code. So if your guys are hurting, if your team has a ton of bugs and you're quite not sure how the heck all these bugs are making it through your quality assurance, you might want to come in and introduce test management for Jira so that you can drastically fortify that portion of your development lifecycle. And then the last one here is tempo timesheet. So if your team is essentially having to manage uh, time tracking, right? If they, they have to log their hours so that they can get paid, maybe they're not salaried. Time tracking for Jira here by tempo sheets is going to be a pretty, pretty effective answer. Again, my heart's kind of broken. You have to pay at least $10 per month, even if you have under 10 people. You do get a 30-day trial. I've used this extensively with various different folks that I've worked with in the past. This is a, is a very powerful tool. You get a lot out of it, a lot of customizations, a lot of good reporting. It, it almost feels like sometimes it's overkill. It is a pretty expensive one when you compare it to other uh, tools available in the marketplace. But if you need to do some time tracking, this is probably going to be the one I would recommend first. And then if this doesn't solve your needs, then I would kind of start scaling back and looking at other options. There's another one or two different good options out there that I've used in the past that are pretty effective. But if you're looking for the best, it's definitely going to be uh, Tempo Timesheets here by Tempo for Jira. So let me know if you're using any of these in the comment section below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a deep dive. All of these plugins essentially have like a ton of configurations. They have a ton of of just different settings that you can tweak to just tune it just right. So if you want to see videos related to the plugins, maybe go a little deeper. I know I'm going deep on the custom charts and they're sponsoring me, but maybe I can start reaching out to other vendors and start creating some more content for you. So let me know if you're interested in that. I'd be more than happy to help you out with that. And let me know if you're using any other plugins. I really like to know. I know I'm using, I'm covering basically metrics, source code integration, uh, test management and time tracking, but what are the categories are that I miss? Uh, there's a ton, like I mentioned, there's hundreds of new apps out there. Uh, there's just so much work or so many different plugins and extensibilities of uh, that's available. Script Runner is a really, really big one. I've never used Script Runner, but it's probably one of the most popular ones in the marketplace. It's very expensive as well. But if you're looking to really expand the power of like automations within uh, your Jira environment, you may want to consider looking at Script Runner. I kind of gave an honorable mention to EasyBI, but you can see that EasyBI here is a pretty good one. Let me see if I can sort them by maybe top rated. We can take a look at those, see if any of these come to mind. So the issue checklist, I've seen a lot of teams use this one. This one's useful because while you do have a checkbox capability in Jira as a field, it's not a checklist per se. And so I've seen a couple of teams utilize this checklist to basically create like a little to-do list within the Jira ticket. So there's a lot of cool things that you may want to consider. There's so many different plugins, so, so much uh, extensibility here built into this community, which is one of the, one of my favorite reasons as to why I love Atlassian. So I just covered five of them, but as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds of them to choose from. So let me know how you feel about this video. I'd be more than happy to start making more and start reviewing more plugins. But this is kind of why Tools Friday was created, right? It's to kind of explore the different tools in the Atlassian Marketplace and, and kind of coach you and guide you as to how you can use those tools to drastically extend the power of your Jira. So that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you got any value. And if you want to answer any of the questions that I kind of just posed in this video, let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this one. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.